Hello, I'm Vanessa, and I'm going to be doing another a couple of problems here. Um, the first is on Avogadro's number and the mole. Uh, this is just to refamiliarize you with some of these concepts and putting them into practice. And I have a problem for you here. It is a can of Coca-Cola has roughly 10 teaspoons, um, which comes out to about 0 .004 kilograms of sugar. How many molecules of sugar are there in a can of Coke? And you're given the molecular weight of sugar. So some things that we need to define first is what is molecular weight, what is a mole, and what is Avogadro's number. Um, Avogadro's number and the mole go hand in hand, and you can have a mole of anything. If I could have a mole of something, it would probably be dollars, because that says that you have um, Avogadro's number is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 um, units of whatever it is you want. So if, or of anything, so if you had a mole of dollars, you would have that much money. Bill Gates would be jealous. Um, anyways, so moles are used to, um, or moles and Avogadro's number are used um, in chemistry and defining weights um, using molecular weight of things like atoms and electrons because they're very small and um, using a weight of one atom uh, would be pretty difficult. So everything is used or described in terms of moles. So one mole of, for example, let's say carbon has 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms of carbon and the molecular weight then um, of carbon is 12.01 moles or grams sorry so 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms of carbon weighs 12.01 grams and that is one mole of carbon so the molecular weight of carbon is 12.01 grams. Okay, so here when we say the molecular weight of sugar is 180.16 grams, we're saying that in one mole that's how much that weighs. So in this problem we are asked to go from kilograms to molecules. Okay, so the number of molecules in one can of Coke. Now when I like to, or when I do these problems, I like to set them up um, like railroad tracks and canceling all my units out to make sure I get to the right unit. And since we start with kilograms, that would be 0 .004 kilograms. Okay, and we know that molecular weight, since it's grams per mole, we're gonna have to, um, get two grams somehow, and we know that one kilogram is a thousand grams, so our kilograms cancel, that's good. Okay, working towards our molecule still, how can we get there? Relating grams to molecules or um, units of sugar, and so we know that we need to use our molecular weight, which is 180.16 grams in one mole, we got our grams to cancel. And now we need to get rid of moles. And so now we can use Avogadro's number. Oops, I don't know why I wrote minus. 6.022 times 10 to the 23. And when you multiply this out, you end up with one 0.30 times 10 to the 23 molecules of sugar in Coke. Can of Coke. That's a lot of sugar. Okay? Let's try another problem. 
Like I said, you can have a mole of anything and that will come into place here. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, for the first part it says, a raindrop weighs 50 milligrams. The Pacific Ocean weighs 7.08 times 10 to the 20 kilograms. What is the mass of one mole of raindrops? Write your answer in scientific notation and round the mantissa to one decimal place. Okay. So, uh, like I said, you can have a mole of anything. And here we're working with raindrops. So we need to go from milligrams to moles here. Okay. So, let's start off with what we have. 50 milligrams. We know that at some point we need to get to grams to relate this to moles. So there are 1,000 milligrams in one gram to cancel our milligrams. Okay. And um, Sorry, can we stop? <laughs> yeah, just just stop. Okay, I I am um, slightly disorganized on this one. Yeah, just stop it. Sorry. Mhm. Mm 